Hello guys, it's JC and Charles, and today we will be making a commentary on Christmas Yes Sunny Day Knows Double Rant on Bubble Guppies and Star is the versus the Force of Evil. Now we've seen the rant and it's gonna suck. Why? Cause he called Bubble Guppies a ripoff to SpongeBob when they're not even related. And there's also more bad reasons, but we should just get onto the commentary. The following video for 2020 is possible and part by Christmas Yes Sunny Day No. No, no offense, but um, you're you're plagiar plagiarizing Michael the Vion guy's intro, and sorry for if we forgot to say this, but this video was made in 2020. Bubble guppies? Hell no. More like ugly dummies. Was that the best insult you can ever make up? Because that insult was very pathetic. And also, the more like terms is overused. Oh my god. This show sucks. This show is a huge ripoff to SpongeBob SquarePants. One of my favorite Nickelodeon shows. What the f? You know, Bubble Guppies is not a ripoff to SpongeBob SquarePants. And besides, they were both made by Viacom and Nickelodeon. This show is about nine mermaids and a fish that is a teacher. And they like to go on failure adventures. Dude, the failure adventures term is overused. Molly is ugly. She is the most annoying singer I have ever heard, and she goes in front of Gil. It sounds like they want to have sex underwater. Bro, what you said there is very disgusting. Well, how would they have sex with each other underwater? Gil is clumsy and a scaredy cat. He screams every episode. It gives me a goddamn headache. Dima is terrible. She sounds like a country girl. Yuna is a crybaby. She cried in a couple episodes. It makes me annoyed. Gobby is so dumb. If you ask him did Adolf Hitler do anything bad, he will say he did, nothing bad. Nani never even smiles. I think he doesn't give a fuck what is going on. He never smiles like Squidward from Spongebob. Even though Squidward smiles sometimes. Mr. Groupert is the worst teacher. He is a ripoff to Mrs. Puff from Spongebob. Bro, how is Mr. Grouper a ripoff to Mrs. Puff from Spongebob? You know that's a false ripoff claim there, right? There is a new bubble guppy in the show. But, I don't know her name. But let's move on. And Bubble Puppy, if I saw him in real life, I would feed him chocolate. Dude, what sh hole you are. Ha you know feeding dogs chocolate can make them die or something. And that's dog abuse, and you can get arrested for that. They parodied Avengers Infinity War. Also, how the fuck can they breathe underwater? People can't even breathe underwater, that's because we have lungs. Not girls. It's fucking dumb how this show is asking you questions that you never actually heard of before. And the three fishes say the answer after five seconds after you answer. The graphics suck. The voices are all queers. The theme song is so fucking annoying. Show got cancelled in 2016. And four years later, it got back in business. We're gonna skip this part because the rage is long and there's a do you know who like this show, do you know who hates this show thing because those things are getting old. Anyways, it's the producer's decision that they want to bring back Bubble Guppies. Bubble Guppies suck. And so does Joshua the Vyond fan. Spongebob and Brandon Barney are 9,999,999,999 times better than Bubble Guppies. End of rant. First of all, what does Joshua the Vyonder, um, I mean Vyond fan, um, Spongebob and Brendan Barney have to do with this rant? Next, I'm going to rant on Star vs. the Forces of Evil. If you like this show, then go kill yourself and hate Green Lion 88 right now. Um, I don't know what to say for the first thing you said, but, um, and besides, that's opinion bashing you're doing. And Green Lion 88 is now David the Green Ghost Furry 5. Enjoy.
Star vs. the Forces of Evil? More like stupid versus the Internet of Good. Dude, was that the best insult you can ever make up? Cause that name was so pathetic. Oh my god. This show is a piece of trash. This show is about two characters and they like to go on failure adventures. The failure adventures term is overused. Star is trash. I bet she can ask a boy out, and they will say no. And Marco Diaz is bad at karate. I bet he would break his hand and cry like a tiny helpless baby. Ha ha. He deserves it for having a bad show. What the f***, you b What you said there is very heartless. The animation is stupid, the music is gay, the theme song is trash. And the whole show looks like what a little kid would do at Comic Con. Thank God this show got cancelled on 2019. Thank God. If this show got a reboot. Taikiko would be happy. Two things. Um. Being happy that a show or thing got cancelled is heartless, and the Kiko term is old. And we're gonna skip this part because it's gonna. Because there's gonna be a lot of numbers, which is so annoying, and there will is gonna be a like and hate spot, which no one cares about. End of rant. Next rant. Bodge rocks SpongeBob suck. No offense, but you are going to rant on a dead horse. Wow, that rant sucked as hell. Reasons. He called Bubble Guppies a ripoff to SpongeBob. And many more reasons that I don't want to explain because it's cool. Anyways, that's it for this commentary video. Anyways, see you later. Hello.